Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. In the upper right hand corner, we've got Fisheye starting as the yellow Protoss, though it looks kind of greenish, oddly enough. Bottom left hand corner, we have Mitak starting as the green Zerg. This is going to be on Eclipse. Pretty standard map as you can get. And this is BSL Season 14 Hasu League Group D. The first match between these two. Um, Group C, I don't have the replays for, so this might end up being uploaded out of order. And I think I also said that Nilsi was Invisible Man Studio. That is incorrect, I believe. But we've got... Uh, I had a replay that was out of a bracket that I was trying to download in Group B. So there might be a missing game from Group B. Uh, group C, there's re there's people that have played each other all over the place. Uh, I just see a whole bunch of Love Snow uploads and Aegis uploads. I'll try to cast what I can clear out as far as what I think was played in that bracket, but it might be... I'm waiting for that to get sorted out as far as the replays go. Anyway, uh, pile on down the upper right corner for Fisheye. Fisheye, last season, had an okay showing. He made it into the round of 16, but... And actually, did he, I think he might have made it to the round of 8 as well, but Fisheye's one of those guys that I think he could take it if he's in top form. But most recently, it just seems like he has not been in the form he has really at least last season it felt like he was not playing up to his top potential i'm hoping to see top potential play this game looks like that probe scout sneaking around this is going to be a 12th hatch and keep in mind with the forge opening it is possible with the sneaky probe with his overlord not scouting it to go ahead and do cannons behind the mineral line and mess up that hatchery and do a lot of damage early midtack i have not seen play before so he is a newcomer for me into this season BSL. I'm sure these players have seen him on ladder before. Looks like he opened up 9 hatch. And he's going to drop a pool behind this. And that allows a lot of Zerglings early. Which might be able to stop this. And it looks like, yeah, we're already seeing... Mitek is going to see the edge of that. But this is the problem with opening up these hatchery first builds. Is you have to deal with this. However, with the... So drones are being pulled to go ahead and deal with this. This is going to hurt Mitek's economy quite a bit. He's going to try to slide this drone in before an additional... Can ah, not able to do it. Now, if he's going to go ahead and deal with this, what he needs to do is try to drone drill some drones behind this line. And Fisheye continuing to seal himself in and plop down cannons. Kind of hard to do this, uh, but trust me, some of these are cannons. That one's a pylon. Sunken Colony defensively being placed. But it looks like Mitak is going to take at least some damage on this hatchery early. Fisheye getting some nice advantage. And if he can take this hatchery out, especially for the cost of everything down here, big advantages. And these drones have been off the line. And with a 9 hatch opener, that's going to hurt his economy overall. The probe, battle probe, even going to help assist take down this Sutton colony. The Zerglings are spawning. They're going to make a run at Fisheye's front door. So Fisheye needs to make sure he can get some defenses up. He's got two font on cannons warping in. He might need to pull probes off his front to defend this. So canceling some of the resources here in the background to get that money back. Looks like he is going to have a gateway in the way. Still might want to pull probes to go ahead and defend this front because if he holds this push, he will end up winning. Midtag doing... I think the next best thing, yeah, just run these Zerglings out. Not, nice blockade with those probes. One cannon up. Trying to take out a few probes to make it through, but it looks like, yeah, with the 12, or sorry, the 9 hatch opener, Fisheye able to sneak underneath, take that natural expansion out. Midtech responding with all in Zerglings, and now he's down to 7 drones versus 17. That This is looking like it is going to be a fast match. Either way, the Zerglings coming back out. And Mitex got a... It looks like he's starting to drone up, but honestly, he needs to do more of the same. And plus, there's these cannons of the natural expansion. You're going to be able to see Zerglings if they sneak back around. Fisheye somehow, in the midst of this, snuck a probe out. So he's going to be able to go ahead and get a scout in this base. He's starting to work on his natural expansion. Double the worker count of Mitex getting his own assimilator up. So the probe, making sure that there wasn't a quick... Hatchery follow-up. Overlord taking some damage over the... It might be able to go ahead and get some scouting information. I'm not sure that it's going to make much of a difference, though. Some more Zerglings joining the front. And now, yeah, Midtech is saying, like, you know what? Yep, got to add those Zerglings on. Is he just waiting for Zergling speed? Looks like he's going to wait for Zergling speed before making a second attempt. The probe getting boxed out of the main, but... 
I have to assume Fisheye knows that this is going to be continuous Zerglings. And once this first Zealot's out, and maybe even, I would even add like a third cannon here. Because he is in such a firm position. This Zergling, though, managing to get a kill. So small bright spots in this. So basically what this is going to come down to is mid is going to continue to produce Zerglings. Looks like he actually supply capped himself and needing to build two overlords here as well. Zergling speed's coming online. He's making another attack at the front. Having trouble microwing them. Looks like a few managed to slip through. So you got three Zerglings that managed to slip through, but yeah, not enough. It was kind of more of the... I think once that initial hatchery went down, it was kind of just going through the motions to get to the GG point. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless, but Fisheye easily going to move on to the Winter Smash. Thanks for listening.